right. Hey, YouTube. I just want to give a reminder that uh, the giveaway I'm doing ends this coming Saturday. So if you want to get your VR in, uh, need to get to work on that. If not, it's cool. No matter. That's just better odds for the ones that did enter. <laughs> so I'm sure they'll appreciate it if you don't. Um, I'm just giving away some ammo. It's not a big prize bag, but you know, it was mainly about just getting some people involved, thinking a little bit, sharing some uh, ideas, and what the contest was about, in case you didn't see it, is I wanted you to think about it and tell me if we have ever gave up a liberty or a right for security and it was worth it. I don't care if it was some kind of gun control, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment. When have we ever gave up a liberty or a right or freedom and you can sit back and say, well, yeah, that one was worth it. If you can, please tell me. Uh, I want to hear it. Uh, I, I can't think of any of it myself. Uh, I think I should be able to own a uh, fully automatic machine gun. I think I should be able to get on an airplane with not getting strip searched or get a, a body scanner and take my freaking shoes off to get on a fucking plane. Sorry, didn't mean to cuss. Uh, no, I don't agree with none of it. And I know uh, some people don't like to get into politics, but whether you want to get into politics or not, politics is in your life. Just like I said. When you get on a plane, when you go to purchase a gun, what kind of restrictions did you go through? If you read the Constitution, it will say nothing about background checks and uh, waiting periods and how many uh, rounds the uh, firearm holds. I don't ever remember seeing anything about that uh, Second Amendment. So any infringement don't mean it's necessary to slam away, but if it was a fringe on, there you go. There was some kind of restriction put on your freedom. You know, I mean, we've already seen restrictions on freedom of speech. If anybody's been to a uh, political rally damn traffic somebody trying to get me killed box me in um, if you've ever been to a political rally or a uh, any kind of event and if you've ever seen a sign that said free speech zone which I definitely don't agree with and didn't follow, uh, that was an infringement. That was a restriction of your freedom of speech. And it's wrong. I, you know, if uh, you want to protest in the government, according to your First Amendment, I don't know if you know this, but if there's secret service in the area, Guarding a senator, representative, or hell, Obama's daughters for that matter. Well, guess what? You can't protest. It's against the law now. And like I said, for those that don't think politics are in their life, everything you do, everything you do is restricted in some way by politics. And, uh, you know, you can't just say, well, I don't like to get involved in politics. Well, it don't matter if you want to get involved in politics or not. Politics is involved with you. 
Um, it is in your daily life. It is in everything you do and go about every day. Politics has dictated how you're going to do that day. Whether it's to freaking speed, that damn, I keep cussing, sorry guys. Whether it's the speed limit, whether it's uh, whether or not you can give your child a meal to take to school to eat, and schools don't allow that. Politics is in your daily life. So you might as well get freaking involved in politics because it's in your life whether you want it or not. Now you don't have to be as vocal and as active as I am. I understand that. But you can't just shrug your shoulders and say, well, I don't like to get involved in politics. That just don't make any freaking sense to me. Politics is your daily life. No, it's just, I don't know. I guess it's a subject I'm kind of passionate about. Um, Just like now. See, I'm having to drive all the way to Greenville because uh, I need some beer and I can't buy it in my town. <laughs> I gotta drive to Greenville so I can buy beer on Sunday. <laughs> See, here's politics involved in my daily life. <laughs> I had to drive to town and get some beer. I should have just been able to go up the street. <laughs> well, that's all for now, YouTube. See ya. I hope you enjoyed my moto vlog. <laughs> Beer running politic chat. Only here, YouTube. <laughs> See ya.